Welcome and build a repair management system using Python and PyKT. My name is Mahmoud Ahmad and I'll be your instructor in this course. In this course we will start from scratch designing a library management system using Python and the amazing PyQt framework. First we will design our app UI using the Qt design. Then we will start designing our database using MySQL workbench. Then we will start connecting our UI file to our Python code. Then start connecting to our database and then we will start inserting data from our UI file to our database and we will learn a lot in this course so first let's take a look at our project so let's run our app now we have a login window so first we need to log in so I'm gonna hit the username and I'm gonna type the, the wrong password login so we got to make sure you've entered your username and password correctly and now if you entered our correct password, let's hit login. So now there is our app UI. First, this is the day-to-day -day operations when which you can add a book, add the client name, retrieve the type of the book, are you retrieving this book or renting, the number of days if you are renting this book, and add. So let's add a book name. So we're gonna say buy some basics, and we're gonna add the client name I'm gonna write my name and here I'm gonna set this is a rent for let's say six days from now so we, we here on done if we type add or press add so we've got Python basics this is my name this is rent from this date and to this date so now this is for day-to-day -day operations and we have scroll and so on then we can export this data to Excel files like this. Export data operation. Let's click this. And we've got report created successfully. So let's take a look at our report. So we've got the operations, and if you open this, we can see the, all the books and client's name and so on. Let's move to our books window. We can see all the books. We can also export this box into an Excel file, and we can add a book from here book title, code, and categories, and so on, and the description. And then we can edit or delete a book. We can search over a book using this, edit the book information, hit delete or save. And if we are deleting this book, like this, all the books in our, in our uh, database, so let's take this book title, and let's move to edit or delete, and let's add this book, space travel, let's hit search. So we've got all the information about this book on our UI. Now we can save, edit, and save, and we can delete. And if we hit delete, so we've got, are you sure you want to delete this book? And if we hit yes, this book will be deleted. And we can also add new book from here. And if we open clients, we can see that we have all the clients. We can add a new client. We can search over clients and delete client and so on. And for users, we can add a new user. We can edit user information using login. So here if I type the username and the password in the correct way, we get the login so this is will be enabled with my information to be edited and so on and the first settings we have we can add new category let's add a new category like python and if we hit add new category we've got this category and for authors we have all the authors let's add a new author like this so we've got the author name for publisher and so on and now let's this is the full project except the themes which enable you to change from one theme to another and so on so let's open themes so we have four themes which you can apply in one so let's apply this dark blue so this is our app right now let's open books let's open clients users settings and so on and let's you can open the themes from anywhere so if we click themes in here you can see the themes and we can hit Dark gray like this. This is the new theme for books for users and so on. If we open themes from here and update the last one or the final one, we have this the new theme. We can open this and so on. So let's change our theme and let's make this the default one like this. You can open themes from here and you can close it from here, like this. So we'll start creating this project from scratch. We will 
then the database, then the UI file connected to the database, searching, updating, deleting, selecting data from our database, applying themes, treating with table widgets, combo boxes, line edits, and so on. And we will even learn how can we export those data onto Excel files. The course will start from scratch and will help you build real systems using the Python and the BigQuery framework. Hope you like the course and see you on site.